time to find a cure. Welcome. Today we are here at Greenfield Elementary School for their ninth annual Walk to Cure Diabetes. Over the last nine years, this school has raised over $75,000. And on the show today, we're going to meet the mom who started it all. But up first, it's over to Alberta's Opera House with Tim Dancy. Excellent. Thanks for that, Tim. We are now joined by Melanie Hibbard, one of the parent leaders for the walk. And you've been involved with this walk since its inception. Yep. Why did you get this started? Uh, we got it started because 10 years ago, um, our oldest son, uh, Connor, was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And we just really wanted to bring awareness um, to the disease and educate the kids at the school and the staff about what it means to have a child in their school with type 1. And for you, you this doesn't even run your family. This is, it was totally out of the blue to find out your son was diagnosed. Yes. Yeah, we just found out he just um, wasn't feeling good. He was four years old. Um, so we took him into the doctor and this is what we came back with. And your second son also has diabetes. Yeah, he was diagnosed 15 months later at the age of a year and a half old. What was going through your head when you found out that both of your sons at such a young age were suffering from diabetes and you, you, this wasn't in your family history, it was completely out of nowhere? Uh, shock. We just didn't know what to do. So fortunately, um, Edmonton has the Stollery Pediatric um, Diabetes Centre. So our doctor sent us there and you know, you spend four days there all day learning what it's like to weigh and measure all the food, do the finger pokes, give the needles. We, I don't have medical training so... It was just learning as we go. It was life changing. Greenfield Elementary has really stepped up. You've raised a ton of money, almost $75,000 in the last nine years. How does it feel to represent this school and to see them grow so much and, and do such a wonderful thing? It's amazing. It just, it, it really is the support that the school has given us, the staff, the students, and the families. Um, they've really stepped up, and it's, it just it makes us very proud that our kids go to this school um, and that these students here, there's over 500 kids at this school, and every year, they learn a little bit more about type 1 diabetes. Your younger son is going to be playing a significant role in the walk today. He's going to be holding the banner. Yeah. You said he gets a little nervous before he does it? Yeah, he does. He just is everybody, all the attention's on yeah. him and he's fairly shy. So um, when his older brother was at the school, they did it together. But now that he's a junior high, he's on his own. So um, he does it and he has a friend that helps him out and they go and it's exciting. When you have 500 people yeah. walking behind you, it's, it's just very, um, it shows the support. Everybody's right there for him. And Melanie, the school is also doing these did you know bulletins tell us a little bit about this um, every day for 21 days prior to the um, walk we change the banner we change the did you know at every door every day with a new fact about diabetes so that the students and parents can see it's it's more kind of in your face more awareness like this is what it's about it doesn't go away um, and it's great and the school has a, a TV show called GTV and every Monday Wednesday and Friday they have a telecast and they do the did you know so all the students see it. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on Go and we will be showing you this walk. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in now, we are at Greenfield Elementary School getting you excited for their walk to end diabetes. Before the break, we we're speaking with Melanie and now we're joined by Pat McCormick of the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. You've seen this walk go on here for a couple of years now, nine years. It's the ninth annual walk. What does it mean to you to come out and see the kids go around the school, raise all this money and do it for such a good cause? One word it sums it all for me yeah. is inspirational. Yeah. Um, the efforts that are made by these children, by their parents, by the uh, administration and staff of this school is, and how they've embraced the Hibbard family to help them um, with this horrible disease. I I'm a volunteer. Uh, JDRF is significantly made up of volunteers. And one of the most important things about this organization is its fiscal responsibility. Over 80% of all money raised goes directly to research. And some of the best research is held here in Edmonton. I'm a type one diabetic myself, so I get to share in that. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it's incredible feeling to me knowing all these people working to help the Hibbard boys and helping myself. How well do you know the Hibbard boys? Well, I've known them since they were little. Yeah, I've, yeah since they were near babies. Is, uh, I've been a part of this organization for probably close to 15 years now and I've been 22 years diagnosed. So um, I know a lot, of, I've seen a lot of these little kids grow up uh, and it would be nice for them to grow up without diabetes as opposed to having to live with it. Well, I know our viewers at home would love to contribute to the cause. How do they donate online? Because uh, when, once they see that the walk is already going to have happened, but you have a website for more information. We do, jdrf.ca, they can go there. Um, they can also call the office, 780-428-0343. Uh, 
and talk to the girls there who are extremely helpful and be more than willing to take their generous donations to help this cure. Excellent. Thanks so much, Pat. All right, coming up next, we are going to meet the artist behind The Quiet Rebuild. The exhibit runs from now until November 29th at the Harcourt House. Okay, so very, very soon, these hallways will be filled with kids throwing on their jackets, their boots, their toques, their scarves. It's cold outside, and we are getting ready to walk. So stay tuned. We'll be right back on Go. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we're down here at Greenfield Elementary School getting ready for their night annual walk to cure diabetes all the students are bundled up as you can see wearing nice warm clothes and if we take a look at the toques that they're wearing let's see your head bud he is wearing his official walk to cure diabetes toque all the kids wearing matching toques and scarves keeping everyone nice and warm and we also have the dragon let's see if we can get his attention this is our mascot Mr. Mascot, hello! <laughs> He's very popular. Hello, hello, the, our dragon. How's it going, bud? Super excited for the walk? Yay! Now, he is a dragon because we don't want diabetes to drag on. And look, all of the sneakers on his jacket here, his jersey. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Super excited, okay. And uh, we're also going to meet Travis, who is the leader for our walk this year. His older brother, Connor, did it before him. We're going to meet Travis coming up. But right now, we are also, speaking of monsters, going to be finding out which captured monster we have here on Go Edmonton. Excellent. Okay, so the kids are getting quiet. We are going to try and interview Travis before they start their walk. But right now, it's time for sports with Jordan Greenlee. Excellent. Thanks for that, Jordan. I am now here with Travis Hibber. Travis, how's it going? Good. Are you excited for the walk today? Yes, I am. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and when you were diagnosed with diabetes, bud? I was diagnosed when I was 18 months old. And, and what is it like to live with diabetes? It's really annoying because <laughs> when I want to relax, I have to get up and get my needles and do my pokes. What's the first thing you have to do when you wake up in the morning? Uh, do my poke and then eat. And, and when your friends see you do that at school, what kind of questions do they ask you? Does it hurt? Yeah. And does it hurt or are you pretty used to it now? I'm pretty used to it. Pretty used to it. What is it like to, to carry the banner this year with all of your schoolmates and then raise money for such a great cause? It's fun. I yeah. feel like, it feel awesome to be like a leader. And I hear you raised quite a bit of money this year. Yeah. How much money did you raise? Uh, three, around 3000 Holy! High five! $3,000! That's incredible. Now, uh, if you were to say something to all our viewers at home to encourage them to donate to this cause, what would you say to them? <laughs> I'm putting them on the spot. What would you like to say to everyone to help find a cure for diabetes? Please donate. Please donate. You can do that at jdrf.ca. Thanks so much, Travis. When we return, we're going to start that walk because everyone's getting pretty excited. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in now, we're down here at Greenfield Elementary School. The kids are starting their walk. The walk is to cure diabetes. It's the ninth annual walk. And over the last nine years, they've raised over $75,000. Absolutely incredible. We were speaking with Travis before the break. He's somewhere at the front of the walk holding the banner. We're going to continue on with the kids. But right now, Alberta's own Brett Kissel recently packed up and shipped out of town. And I had the chance to chat with him right before he left.